It was supposed to be the happiest day of their lives. But that's not how it turned out for Kimberly Romano and her groom Kyle when they said, I do. I had to get married without a single member of my family present. And that was really, really upsetting. And that's just something that I can never, I can never get that back. Kimberly had to be consoled by her groom as she told Inside Edition of the human toll of Southwest Airlines cancellation chaos. One after another, flights for Kimberly and Kyle's family and friends were canceled. Then worst of all, her parents' flight out of Chicago was canceled. So they drove 92 miles all the way to Milwaukee, but when they got there, their rebooked flight was canceled too. My heart just was shattered when I got the notification. That, um, that that flight had been canceled as well. Gosh, I'm so sorry. It sounds like you missed out on quite a few wedding traditions. It was really important for me to have my dad walk me down the aisle. Luckily, like our bus man stepped in to walk me down the aisle so that I didn't have to walk by myself. But it was, it was very heartbreaking. The wedding couldn't be delayed. You can see mom watching the ceremony via FaceTime as she wipes away tears from 1,700 miles away. Her sisters say they tried everything they could to be there. It's heartbreaking for us. It's heartbreaking for her. So completely devastated. I just want the truth as to what was going on and why they ruined so many occasions, not just for us, but for so many other people. Meanwhile, the CEO of Southwest Airlines went on GMA today to apologize for all the disruption. Of course, I want to apologize to all of our customers. Uh, this is not this is not what we want, but. Um, unfortunately, it just takes a couple of days to uh, get things back on track.